Hello beautiful people and welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing a makeup tutorial over a look that I created in theory on my blog post. Um, the blog post is called create your perfect makeup routine or something like that. I'll link it down below for you to see with your own eyeball. I gave a few sample makeup routines for some people who are new to makeup and not really sure what order or what products to use. So today's video is going to be on the minimalist version of a makeup routine that I created. <laughs> and we're just gonna jump in. I wanted to give a special thanks to my friend Hong who kept requesting this video. So thank you Hong, this one's for you. Let's just jump into it. I actually skipped primer, so as long as your skin is nice and moisturized, you will be good to go. So you can totally use BB cream or you can use any complexion product that you own. You can BB cream, CC cream, foundation, doesn't matter. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the shade Warm Natural. And I actually skipped concealer for this because it's not really necessary. I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender, but feel free to use your fingers. I had a mirror somewhere. So now that we've blended that out, it's time to set it. I'm going in with my, it's super messy, my Kat Von D Locket Setting Translucent Powder. I'm just going to dip my beauty blender in there and I'm just going to bounce that on the palm of my hand to spread out that powder and not go in with too much product. I'm not trying to bake, I really just want to set my face so that the product doesn't move. Now that our face is nice and set, we can go in with our powder products. I'm using this blush by Milani in the shade Rose de Oro, and I'm just taking a fluffy brush. You can even use your beauty blender if you have it. You don't need any fancy equipment, just any brush will do. Alrighty, so after blush, I'm going to bronze. So take your favorite bronzer, it doesn't really matter which one. I'm gonna use this Neutrogena one in the shade 30 Sun Kissed. It's like a nice tan shade. It's actually pretty tan for me, but that's okay. I'm gonna bronze the places I like to bronze, which are closer to the perimeter of my face, so on the outsides. I didn't realize I had a really uncute break out there like so and then I like a little bit on the nose and the chin and while I'm here I'll take my brush since I'm not doing any eyeshadow with this look I'm just gonna take my bronzer and just go over my eyes it adds just a little something something so that your eyes are you know covered they don't look like they're mismatching your face we're done with bronzer and normally I would go in with highlight so if you're a highlight fan go ahead and apply that. I'm gonna skip it since I want to keep it super super minimal. We're using very little product today. So I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows now and the easiest thing in the world is just throwing on some brow gel. You don't even have to fill them in. This just helps define them a little bit and brings them to life and if you got any powder in your brows from any of your products it removes that. I'll be using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Brunette. I love this little spoolie. It has a really nice formula. It really helps if your brows are the shape that you want them to be. I've been struggling with brows but I just got them done. I, I had them waxed and I actually really like the shape so now I can fill them in a lot easier. Maybe go get your brows waxed or just make sure you pluck them into the shape that you really enjoy. That way you can fill them in into that shape and you don't have a mess on your hands. It's not super done up to where it looks fake but we can kind of definitely tell a difference between the two. All right, now that our brows are done, we can put on our mascara. I'm gonna go in with the Mega Volume Mascara by Wet n Wild. I actually enjoy this. I featured it in my uh, Full Face of First Impressions. I'll link that video down below in case you have not seen it. And one thing that helps as well is to go ahead and brush, especially if you have blonde lashes, you're gonna take your mascara and coat the top. And I like to roll my mascara 
like so. Once the top is coated, I'll go in and coat the bottom. And just make sure you're really getting to the root. That's why the pointy end really helps. Okay, so after you are happy with your lashes, you can do the last step, which is lip balm, or you can even put mascara on the bottom lashes if you're into that look as well. The last thing we're gonna do is add some lip balm. I'm gonna use the Milani Moisture Lock. I don't know, Moisture Lock, it's like a hydrating balm, but it looks kind of like a gloss. Just going to go in. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Let me just get a little bit closer. So this is actually a perfect look for someone that doesn't like a lot of makeup. It doesn't feel heavy at all, but I feel pretty cute. I feel like I have a little a bit of something something on and I'm ready to go about my business. If I have to run errands or anything like that, this is perfect. Even if you don't and you just, you have work or school and you really don't wanna go through the trouble of doing a full face, because honestly that just takes a very long time so this is something that's quick and easy and it just looks really really natural and pretty and that my friends is everything can you believe it a full face that you can do in under 10 minutes because you can do this under 10 minutes I believe in you <laughs> be sure to watch out for the next two makeup tutorials that I will be coming out with um, based on these sample routines that I mentioned in that blog post and I will link that blog post down below I post on Tuesdays so yeah I will see you guys next Tuesday bye <laughs> well every time